Hello there, and welcome to this little Speluchipedia video, where today I want to have a little chat about one of the characters from the Sam Speluchiverse, and that is the character called Dave Nichols, who is one of the children of Cain, one of the vampires in Sam's world. We first meet Dave in the case of the Vexed Vampire, um, which is one of the five cases in Sam's first outing uh, case book. And he is this owner of a little comic book shop in Lancaster down on North Road, which is actually based on a real one called Interstellar Master Traders. Um, it closed down some years ago now, but it used to be one of the sort of like the real high points of Lancaster. It was a real institution. And Dave is at this Comic Con in Lancaster trying to promote his business. He's dressed, as it happens, like Spock, the original, not the remake. As he quite you know, openly says, he's not a fan of the new one. And he gets hit by a car and is left fatally wounded. Now, as it happens, that car contains a construct which Marcus and Nightingale are trying to track down, trying to kill. So they feel responsible, well, at least Nightingale certainly does, feels responsible for what's happened to Dave. So she does what she sees the only thing possible, and she starts to convert him into a child of Cain problem is they get interrupted and the job, as it's referred to later on in the book, is a Friday night special. It's not really completed. So the rest of the Vex Vampire is about Dave and Sam, a little bit of assistance from Spiff, or Hindu is probably more likely, um, trying to work out what to do. All gets sorted in the end and Dave becomes a recurring character. Uh, we have him in the three short stories, um, the modern day ones in the Children of Cain omnibus. And he returns with the other children of Cain in Dark Justice, when Justice the King is on his little rampage slash vendetta through Lancaster, taking out constructs and evildoers alike. I think Dave has to be one of my favourite characters. Um, I'm, I'm very fond of all the children of Cain, um, but Dave especially, because he's just so human. He's very like Sam. He's this normal person who has been put into very unnatural, very supernatural um, situation. And he's still very much trying to find his way through. One of the traditions of the Children of Cain is that they should take a new name when they become a vampire. Um, Nightingale, for example, when she was a girl, was called Esther. Um, Scorpion was the prophetess Cassandra. Um, so they've all take this new name, and it's supposed to be a representation of their personality to a certain extent. And Dave, by the time we reach our, like book four in the Sam Spooch series, hasn't found that identity yet. He's still not taken a name. Um, this is going to be the case again in book six, um, Fury of the Fallen, where he's going to crop up again. Um, it's still just plain Dave. You know, he's not taken on some wonderful, you know, singular name, you know, uh, like um, the Slayer or um, even I know Bob the Almighty, you know, whatever. It's not taken. Now, that's not that's not say he's not going to take one because he will do eventually, and that's going to be one of these like big points in the whole Spelucci verse. So that's something to look out for. Um. Dave obviously has his relationship with his mother, um, Nightingale. Uh, she is very much his mentor, especially as her role in the, the society of the children of Cain has to up itself, as it were, um, during the events of Dark Justice. Again, not trying to say too much, spoilers there. And Dave sort of like gets dragged along with that. You know, he sort of like becomes important by proxy. Um, he obviously has close relationships with Marcus because she is Nightingale's hunting partner. Uh, close relationships with Scorpion and Tigress because they just seem to be along for the ride anyway. So we're going to see a lot more of how his character develops over the books and he will become more and more central, um, especially when we get into like the last three books of the whole Spoochiverse, which deal with the Divergent Lands, he is going to have an exceedingly central role. So again, just you know, watch this space for that one. 
Now, um, as with many characters in the Spooky-verse, there are some elements of reality there. Um, Dave, like a lot of the others, is to a certain extent based on real people. Um, I've basically taken people who I know, people who I like, and I said, well, you know, what qualities could they bring to this character? So he's it's like a mishmash of all the people I know, just very normal, very down to earth, and get on with their life really. Um, but there is one specific scene in the case of the Vex Vampire which is actually based on reality and that's the scene at um, Sugar House nightclub where Dave experiences alcohol as a vampire for the first time and gets completely inebriated and then goes and throws up. Um, that is actually based on the chap who I knew when I was a teenager who was called Dave and he lost it one night, got so drunk, he couldn't stop throwing up. So that's how Dave Nichols the Vampire got his name, from a very, very inebriated teenager. I wonder how many characters out there are like that. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed that, and there'll be another one of these little videos along soon. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.